Hi, I'm Amanda Dawson, head teacher of Meadows Primary School, and I'm going to read another book, uh, which is one that I've chosen for a whole lot of different reasons, actually. This book is a really special book for me. It was read, I remember it being read to me when I was a student by another head teacher who was demonstrating how to read a story effectively. And she read it so beautifully that I fell in love with the book there and then, and it became one of my staple uh, go-to books when I was a primary school teacher. I also read this an awful lot with my children. It was one of their favourites, so I'm going to share it with you tonight. And it's called Can't You Sleep, Little Bear? Written by Martin Waddell and illustrated by Barbara Firth. And I think this book's all about feeling safe. Once there were two bears, Big Bear and Little Bear. Big Bear is the Big Bear and Little Bear is the Little Bear. They played all day in the bright sunlight and when night came and the sun went down, Big Bear took Little Bear home to the bear cave. Big Bear put Little Bear to bed in the dark part of the cave. Go to sleep, Little Bear, he said, and Little Bear tried. Big Bear settled in the bear chair by the light of the fire, reading his book, but Little Bear couldn't get to sleep. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? asked Big Bear, putting down his bear book, which was just getting to the interesting bit, and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark? asked Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. Well, Big Bear looked and he saw that the dark part of the cave was very dark. So he went to the lantern cupboard and he took out the tiniest lantern that was there. Big Bear lit the tiniest lantern and he put it next to Little Bear's bed. There's a tiny light to stop you being scared, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Ooh, thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear, cuddling up in the glow. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear. And he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Oh, are you sure, Little Bear? yawned Big Bear putting down his bear book, which was just getting to the interesting bit and four pages to go, and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark, asked Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you a lantern, said Big Bear. Only a teeny weeny one, said Little Bear. And there's lots of dark. Big Bear looked and he saw that Little Bear was quite right. There was still lots of dark. So Big Bear went to the lantern cupboard and he took out a bigger lantern. Big Bear lit the bigger lantern and he put it beside the little one. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear. And he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried and tried to go to sleep. But he couldn't. Oh, can't you see it, Little Bear, grunted Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just three pages to go and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear, asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark, said Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you two lanterns, said Big Bear, a tiny one and a bigger one. Not much bigger, said Little Bear, and there's still lots of dark. Big Bear thought about it, then he went to the lantern cupboard and he took out the biggest lantern of them all with two handles and a bit of chain. He hooked the lantern up above Little Bear's bed. I brought you the biggest lantern of, the ball, of them all, he told Little Bear, and that's to stop you being scared. Ooh, thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear, cuddling up in the glow and watching the shadows dance. Now, go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried and tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Oh, can't you sleep, Little Bear, groaned Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just two pages to go and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear, asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark, asked Big Bear. 
They're dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you the biggest lantern of them all. There isn't any dark left, said Big Bear. Oh, yes, there is, said Little Bear. There is out there. And he pointed out of the bear cave at the night. And Big Bear saw that Little Bear was quite right. And Big Bear was very puzzled because all of the lanterns in the world couldn't light up the dark outside. Big Bear thought about it for a long time and then he said, Come on, Little Bear. Where are we going? asked Little Bear. Out, said Big Bear. Out into the darkness, said Little Bear. Yes, said Big Bear. I'm scared of the dark, said Little Bear. No need to be, said Big Bear. And he took Little Bear by the paw out of the bear cave into the night and it was dark. Oh, I'm scared, said Little Bear, cuddling up to Big Bear. Big Bear lifted Little Bear and he cuddled him and he said, look at the dark, Little Bear. And Little Bear looked. I brought you the moon, said Big Bear, the bright yellow moon and all the twinkly stars. But Big Bear, Little Bear didn't say anything because he'd gone to sleep warm and safe in Big Bear's arms. Big Bear carried Little Bear back into the bear cave fast asleep and he settled down with Little Bear on one arm and the bear book on the other, cosy in the bear chair by the fire. And Big Bear read the bear book right to the end. And it is the end. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I love it. Good night.